Hello, my name is Joey Mello. I'm a physical therapist here at Balance Physical Therapy, and I want to educate you guys on the ear, particularly the vestibular system. So most people come in with uh, different sources of dizziness, and this is one of the primary sources that we look at to rule out the vestibular system. So I want to educate you guys on the vestibular system. It's comprised of four main structures. Your cochlea, which is involved in hearing, your utricle, where most people call the, where the crystals live, three semicircular canals, and then the vestibular cochlear nerve. Now, the utricle, where the crystals live, they're called autoconia, and they're calcium bicarbonate, like pieces of bone, attached by ligaments. And they sit on hair cells called cilia, and those hair cells detect pressure. So if you think of it as an hourglass, as your head tilts right or tilts left, these crystals move along these hair cells, detecting the pressure, and that's read by the nerve, and it goes, okay, so-and-so is tilting their head right, left, forward, back, all against the effect of gravity. While adjacent to that, we have three semicircular canals, and these canals are all angled 90 degrees from one another, and they're full of fluid called indolent. So if you imagine, if you're holding a water bottle that's half full, as you walk through space, that water gets displaced. The displacement of that fluid gets read by the canal, and it goes to the brain and it goes, okay, so-and-so is not only tilting their head, but they're accelerating forward or backwards. And that's what the canals detect. Now, the most common cause of dizziness is called benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, or people typically call vertigo. And what happens in that is one or many of the crystals fall into one of the canals. And if you imagine a rock thrown into a pond, that creates a rippling effect, creates movement of the water. Well, one of those crystals or many fall into one of these canals full of fluid, and that gets read as movement, which we detect as spinning. And that spinning will persist until that rock settles. And once that rock settles, the dizziness goes away. But it's very associated with position. That's why it's called benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. And as a therapist, on an assessment, we assess these things by looking at various head movements and looking at the eyes in terms of nystagmus and how they move, which tells us what ear is involved, what canal is involved, which then dictates our route of treatment. All right, if you guys find this information very helpful, I'd hope that you guys go and check out our Instagram page at balancedptmove or our website at balancedpt.com where you'll find some more information on what I'm trying to teach, the vestibular side, or some of my colleagues on other aspects of PT care.